Hello friends. Today we have discussed quasi experimental research design. Quasi experimental research design involves the manipulation of independent variable to observe the effect on dependent variable. The study unlike true experimental study lacks at at least one of the C cardinal characteristics. It means the randomization and control. Quasi experimental design have an element of manipulation. Quasi experimental design are generally used to establish the causality effect of independent variables on dependent variables in situations where researchers are not able to randomly assign the subject to group for various reasons. Manipulation of the independent variables to observe the effects of the dependent variables. It left at least one of the two other essential characteristics of the true experiment. Quasi independent variables are used instead of two independent variables, and independent variables is not manipulated in complete control situation. Types of quasi Experimental design, time series design, in which three types of time series design, interrupted time series design, multiple time series design, equivalent time series design. Second, non-equivalent control group design. Third, counterbalance group design. For separate sample pre test post test design. Time series design is useful when the researchers intend to measure the effect of the treatment over a long period of time. The researcher would be continue to administer the treatment and measuring the effect a number of times during the course of the in a single subject research in which the researcher carry out an experiment on an individual or on a small number of individuals by altering between administrating and then withdrawing the treatment to determine the effectiveness of the intervention. Interrupted time series design. This design uses several way of observe before and after the introduction of the independent, it means treatment variable like X. It is diagrammed as following. Observation 1, Observation 2, Observation 3, Observation 4 introduce independent variables. like treatment is called X and after introducing X observe observation 5, observation 6, observation 7 and observation 8. This may be illustrated by the study designed to test whether the implementation of breakdown or speeding in a given state reduce the traffic fatality rate of the state. This type of design works best if the treatment is expected to have an immediate made defect and if the treatment is introduced all at once in all relevant situations. 
However, the result may be difficult to interpret, especially if no statistically significant differences are found. Researchers must often collect qualitative data to supplement and interpret the quantitative measurements. The design is not particularly strong at controlling the threat of internal activity. Nor in this design is strong on controlling for threat to external activity. Multiple time series design. This design also used several ways of observation in both groups, treatment and comparison groups, before and after. The introduction of the independent variable X in the treatment group. It is diagrammed as follows. State 1, observation 1, observation 2, observation 3, observation 4. After introduce X, X is an independent variable. After introducing X, take Observation, observation 5, observation 6, observation 7, and observation 8. State P, this is the comparison group in this axis not introduced. But take observations after and before without introducing X. State B, take Observation 1, 2, 3, 4 without introducing X and take observation 5, 6, 7, 8. This may be illustrated by the study to assess the effect of countdown on train driving on automobile fatality in one state compared to automobile fatality in another state without a similar breakdown. Equivalent time series design. The equivalent time series design is an extension of the time series design with the repeated introduction of the measurement or the experimental variable. Like the time series design. In equivalent time series design, a single group is used and the group is exposed to repeated treatment in some systematic way. The design may be diagrammed as indicated below. X1, observation 1. X0, observation 2. X1, observation 3. X0 and observation 4. Suppose the experimenter experimenter want to study the effect of pro-nationalization film, film on the attitude towards the nationalization for a group of 12th class students. The experimenter shows the film to a group of students X1. After that, he administered the measurement of the attitude change toward nationalization observation 1. After a few days, the experimenter briefly discussed the general usefulness of nationalization with them in their class. X0. Again, the test of their attitude can be made. Observation 2. After a few days, the group Witness the same film X1 and the measure the attitude may be obtained observation 3. Following this, the experimenter discuss in detail every aspect of nationalization X0. Their <coughs> attitude towards nationalization is against measure observation 4. 
the statistical comparison of observation 1 and 3 and with observation 2 and 4. Have the experimenter to compare two experience. The time effects are easily determined by comparison observation 1 and observation 2 to observation 3 and observation 4. Although the equivalent time series design is an improvement over the time series design, it introduced two important problems of external validity. First, if the effect of treatment X1 after administration over the time is different from the effect when it is the introduced and reinforced it will be difficult to experimenters to make a generalization about the continued effect of X2 beyond the experiment. This has the effect of the external validity of the experiment. Second, the repeat, repeated administration of the treatment may lead to the adaptation which in turn may lessen the generalizability. <coughs> Second type of quasi experimental design is non equivalent control group design. In psychology and educational research, often the experimenter is faced with the situation in which he has to work with intact group. For example, the teacher may provide the experiment, cannot be experiment two class of geographic, but he may not agree with the later in reconstructing them for experimental purpose. In such a situation, the experimenter has to accept them as intact group. When reconstruction of subject is not allowed, the experimenter cannot randomize and randomly assign them to the control group and the experimental group, and hence their equivalence is suspected. In working with such intact non equivalent group, the non equivalent control group design is recommended. This design may be diagrammed as shown below. The above design is similar to the pre-test, post-test control group design. Expect that it does not bear the subscribed randomization. This means that expect for a random assignment of students of the experimental and control condition, which occurs in case of pre-test, post-test control group design. This design is indicated to the design, indicate to the design, as the experimenter is not allowed to randomly assign the group to the experimenter and the control condition. Their equivalent is not graded. This creates difficulty in controlling a variable like section. However, this difficulty can be overcome by the comparing the intact group or Pre-test with the pre-test that is on observation 1 and observation 3. For the satisfaction of the experimenter of the criteria of equivalence, the intact group can be compared on any control variable relevant to the selection and potential relevant to the treatment such as age, sex, intelligence, social economic status, etc. The statistical analysis consists of comparing the mean gain score of the treatment group observation 2 minus observation 1 to the mean gain score of the non-treatment group observation 4 minus observation 3. The non-equivalent control group design, however, should not be used where one of the intact group consists of voluntary and the other non-voluntary. 
This is because that the voluntaries are different from the non-voluntaries and a comparison of the two does not provide the control of the radical life section. Third is the counterbalancing design. In counterbalance design, the experimental control is achieved by randomly applying experimental treatment. Such designs are called crossover design, switchover design, and rotation experimental by M.C. Carl. The name counterbalancing design was, however, given by the Underwood 1949. For counterbalancing the treatment, generally the latter is square measurement in which each treatment appears once and only once in each column and each row is made. A counterbalance design in which four treatment has been randomly given of uh, randomly given to four groups on four different occasions is diagrammed below. Group A X1 observation X2 observation, X3 observation, X4 observation. Group B, X2 observation, X4 observation, X1 observation, X3 observation. Group C, X3 observation, X1 observation, X4 observation, X2 observation. And group D, X4 observation, X3 observation, X2 observation, and X1 observation. Variable like history, maturation, testing, instrumentation, selection, degradation, and experimental modality are well controlled by the counterbalancing design. One source of external invalidity, however, slips into the counterbalance design that is manipulate X interference lowers the generalizability. Last is the separate sample pretest poster design. The separate sample pretest poster design is especially suited to those situations in which the experimenter cannot assign treatment to all subjects at time. Hence, he is forced to select the sample and administer the treatment. Then again, another sample is taken and the same treatment. Sample, same treatment is repeated. Consider a situation in which there are 2000 persons who are to be trained, but the experimenter cannot train more than 200 persons at a time. In such situation, the training program has to run uh, continuously each time with a new set of the person. And at the same time, the experimenter cannot withhold treatment from any person. So, uh, consequently, he cannot assign person to training condition and non-training condition. As such, two experimental designs can be applied here. To deal with such a situation, a separate sample pretest poster design may be order or adopted. For this process, the experimenter decides to take one group pre-test poster design and repeat it as follows. Show below. Observation 1. Introduce treatment and then observation 2. Observation 3. Introduce treatment and take observation 4. If the one group pretest poster design is used without repetitive, one may say that its variable like the history is not controlled because the subject may be influenced by several other events occurring simultaneously with the treatment acts that might have produced observation 2. But when that design is repeated, Thus, continuing a separate sample pretest poster design. The variable like history is controlled because it is less likely that the same event would be occurred simultaneously to X on both administrators. If X observation 2 exists observation 1, 
observation four, axis observation observation three. He have direct evidence for concluding this. Despite this, the separate sample process kitas design failed to control the three factors of internal variability such as the testing effect, maturation, and introduction of the section and maturation. Advantage of quasi-experimental design Quasi-experimental design are more frequently used because they are more practical and flexible to conduct research. Where the sample size is small and where randomization and availability of control group is not possible, this design is preferred. Quasi-experimental design is more suitable for real situation world setting than true experimental design. This design allows the researcher to evaluate the impact of quasi independent variable under natural occurring conditions. In some cases, hypotheses are partially answered through this design. Disadvantage of quasi experimental design is in this design, there is no control over external variable influenced by dependent variable. The absence of the control variable and absence of the control over the research setting make the result of this design less credible and weak for the establishment of the cause relationship between the independent and dependent variable. Thank you.